And we're back. So when we last left off, for once, I was glad that Monica interrupted us. Cause that was getting a little crazy. Uh, I don't know. So if I had to guess what's going on is that like I don't think that Yuri knows that we're going through the same basic story again with some key differences, but I think that she still had feelings built up from the last playthrough. I think for her to have to reset and continue where she left off was harder for her than it was for me, and so, like, it's just been welling up inside of her, and now... She's like this, which isn't great, but it's okay. I I'm going to stick with her. You in, in good weather and and in poor weather. No, 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 not not my, not like that. But just I'm just saying that I'll stick out the good times and the bad. J just not in in the kind of committal way you're, you're thinking. Okay, let's go back to our original pattern of showing poems. So let's start with Yuri. I've been waiting for this. Okay, okay, Yuri, but please stay calm. Let's see what you've written for today. Hmm. Hmm. Yuri stares at the poem with a surprised expression on her face. Do you like it? Alan, this one might be even better than yesterday's. How did you even pick up on this so quickly? Just yesterday I was telling you the kind of techniques worth practicing. Well, maybe that's why. You did a good job explaining. I really wanted to try giving it more imagery. Yuri visibly swallows. Even her hands appear sweaty. Uh, that makes me so happy. It's so amazing to feel like I'm valued, Alan. Everything that you write is a treasure to me. My heart pounds just holding it. Uh, I want to write a poem about this feeling. Is that bad, Alan? I'm not being weird, right? I'm having a harder time than usual at concealing my emotions. I'm kind of embarrassed. But right now, I just want you to read my poem too. Okay? Okay, this is definitely different than last time. Ah. Wheel. A rotating wheel. Turning an axle, grinding, bolt head, linear gear gearbox, falling sky, seven holy stakes, a docked ship, a portal to another world, a thin rope tied to a thick rope, a torn harness, parabolic gearbox, expanding universe, time controlled by slipping cogwheels, existence of God, swimming with the open water in all directions, drowning, a prayer written in blood. Prayer written in time devouring snakes with human eyes, a thread connecting all living human eyes, a kaleidoscope of holy stakes, exponential gearbox, a sky of exploding stars, God disproving the existence of God, a wheel rotating in six dimensions, forty gears and a ticking clock, a clock that takes one second for every rotation of the planet, a clock that takes forty times every time it takes every second time bolt head of holy stakes tied to the existence of a dark ship to another world a kaleidoscope of blood written in clocks a time devouring prayer connecting a sky of forty gears and open human eyes in all directions breathing gearbox breathing bolt head breathing ship breathing portal breathing snakes breathing god breathing blood breathing holy stakes breathing human eyes breathing time breathing prayer Breathing sky, breathing wheel. Huh. It, it, 
Does this mean that Yuri's come to realize things too? Does she know that she's just the 2D waifu? I mean, that's kind of a weird thing to pick up from this, but... Either way... She seems a little... Eh... But it's okay. I'm still with you, Yuri. <laughs> Nervous laugh. It doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind has been a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take it out on your pen. What? Wait. What do you, what do you mean? You mean your pen, right? Ah. That is... A pen fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping and... I, um... Y you took the, the pen out of my backpack, didn't you, and you sniffed it? Because it vaguely sa smelled like me, didn't it? Yuri? If I wasn't happy just to have a somewhat manageable girlfriend, then... I'd be really upset. I just really like the way that it writes. So I wrote this poem with it. And now you're touching it. <laughs> Nervous laugh. I'm okay. What did I just... Uh, can we pretend this conversation never happened? Keep the poem, though. Oh, Yuri, why? I mean, I can understand how the transition can work from dawn to yawn, but uh, can you have just been like a Kozaki? All right, well. Here goes, Monica. Alan, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. Monica! Monica. Calm down. Alright. Monica. Don't, don't, don't cut off my story here, alright? I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. Monica, Monica, what are you going to tell me? It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. <sighs> okay, well, the way you say that seems normal enough. But, I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of worried about her having a heart attack, but I'm kind of worried that keeping my distance from her might end up being even more harmful to my health, so... I don't know what to tell you, Monica. It shouldn't be a problem in itself. But when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, the pocket knife. Oh no. Oh no. Isn't that kind of messed up? She even brings a different one to school every day. She has a collection or something. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she just gets some kind of high from it. It might even be, like, a sexual thing. But the point is, you've kind of been enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault, though. But I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. So I think if you keep your distance, that would probably be best for her. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little more time with me. Well, Monica, you keep pushing that, but... Put it lightly, I at least have it together in the head, and I know how to treat my club members. 
But anyway... You want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Alright, okay, so it looks like the same one, but there are some missing letters. Save me. The colors... They don't... They won't... Stop? Bright, beautiful colors. Flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, gleam, blue. An endless cacophony of meaningless noise. Hmm. I'm... I'm just... I, I'm gonna have to look this up, because I could swear that this should be an O instead of an A. The noise, it won't stop. Violent, grating waveforms. Sick king, screeching, piercing. Sine, cosine, tangent. Like playing a chalkboard on a turntable. Like a knife on a great breathing rib cage. Endless open of meaningless. Delete her. So, Monica, you're telling me that you're the same one of you and Yuri, and I'll admit Yuri's got her problems, but I don't, I don't think you're altogether sane either, especially judging by how this is going. <sighs> Sorry, I know it's kind of abstract. I'm just trying to... Um... Well, never mind. There's no point in explaining. Anyway... Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. You never know when, um, who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Monica? Uh, I'm not sure how to respond to that. Anything. Well... Shit. Um... Doesn't look like I've got much of a choice, do I? <sighs> Alright, here we go. Three, two, one, go. That's my advice for today. Monica, what was that? What did I agree to? Thanks for listening. Well, shit. That's gonna come back to bite me. Eh. I know, Natsuki, you don't like my poem. Yeah, just as I thought. Huh? Alan, come on. I'm not stupid. I know how much time you've been spending with Yuri. It's obvious that you care more about impressing her than trying to improve your writing. To put it bluntly, it's kind of pathetic. Why are you even in this club, Alan? Honestly. I thought getting a new member would help everyone get more involved together. Not exclude each other even more. Shit. Natsuki's got a point, doesn't she? This is such a stupid activity anyways. Look, I'm not in a good mood today. I just really don't feel like talking right now. Please go away. Okay. Well... I'm not reading this one. 
Nope. No, sir. Ooh, okay. So that's my mouse now. Ooh. Okay, everyone. Um, all right. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? Yeah, Natsuki kind of called me out on my shit, though. Kind of feel bad about that. We have something we need to go over today, so if everyone could sit at the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Uh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? Look. I know everyone's been a little more lively ever since Alan joined and we started some club activities. Because, apparently, all of you girls freak out when a boy is near. Eh. Why can't you be like the girls I went to school with? They never freaked out over a boy. Or, at least not when I was around. But this isn't the time for us to become complacent. We still have only four members. And the festival is our only real chance to find more, you know? What's so great about getting new members, anyway? We already have enough to be considered an official club. More members will just mean everything gets noisier and more difficult to manage. Natsuki? I don't think you're looking at it the right way at all. Don't you want to share your passion with as many people as you can? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? The Literature Club should be a place where people can express themselves like they can't do anywhere else. It should be a place so intimate that you never want to leave. Monica. What? Y you know what, Monica. I know you feel that way, too. I know we all do. So that's why we should work hard and put something together for the festival. Even if it's something small. Right, Alan? Uh... Oh, come on. You can't take advantage of Alan to agree with you just because he doesn't know how to say no to anything. Look, Monica. Do you really think any of us here join the club with other people in mind? Oh no, Natsuki. Natsuki's gonna drop a truth bomb right now. Yuri never even talked until Alan joined. As for me, I just like it better here than I do at home. And Alan isn't even passionate about literature in the first place. And that's everyone. Sorry, but you're the, really the only one who's so interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like this. I know you're present and all, but you should really consider our opinions for once. Uh, Monica? 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 Monica is clearly taken aback by Natsuki's words. That's not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and, Allie, Yuri and Alan want to get more members too. Right? Uh... Uh... I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. If I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I would probably be lying. Still, if it's up to me to rescue this situation... Um... No. Masaki's right, isn't she? This club... It's nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. Why did I think that everyone here saw it the same way as I did? But that doesn't mean we're against getting new members or anything. 
Alan, why did you even join this club? Monica, you're the one who brought me here. At least you're the one who brought me here this time in the absence of you-know-who. She who must not be named. What were you hoping to get out of it? Oh no. Oh no. They're, they're, they're on to me. Well... That's not really something I can be honest about, is it? In fact... If I remember, you weren't even given a choice not to join. Oh no. She, she means like the literal, like, click on a choice. I mean, I've known that she's known this for a while, but... Come on, are you just going to come out and say it this time? Monica sits down and stares at her desk. What's the point of all this anyway? Oh no. Oh no. Monica, I, 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 kn I know that you're self-aware, but it's not so bad. Being, being 2D? Being 3D is way overrated. Trust me. I'm 3D and it sucks. What if starting this club was a mistake? Uh, now you've done it, Natsuki. What? Me? I just spoke my mind. Is it a crime to be honest? It's not about being honest. It's about word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in a club like that. You don't understand at all. I just... I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with the club being that for me? There aren't... There are many other places like that for me. And now Monica wants to take it away from me. She's not taking anything away. No, Alan. It's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, then I could have just joined any other stupid club. But this one... I mean... At least for a little bit of time. Things were nice. God damn it, Natsuki. Why do you have to be so likable all of a sudden? Natsuki starts packing up her things. I'm going home. I feel like... I feel like I don't belong here right now. Natsuki... Natsuki ignores Yuri and walks right out of the classroom. bad. I don't know what to do. Well, do you have an opinion on the festival? I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Oh, who cares about that obnoxious brat? Yuri? Yuri? What the fuck? What the fuck? Uh, did you just turn into, like, a 2D side-scrolling shooter, shooter boss? <sighs> okay. I mean, I like how nice and quiet the club is right now. Yuri. And I'm just happy with you here. But still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Nobody would cry if she killed her. Yuri? No, we don't want that to happen. Not again. Yuri? I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the decision that's right for the club. Yuri? Just. Alright. I'm, I wonder, is, is this, like, crazy side of Yuri really Yuri's fault? Like, at first I was thinking I could just chalk it up to the game trying to mess with me, but I'm kind of worried that this might be who Yuri truly is. 
Uh, but what about you, Alan? What do you want to get out of this club? Yuri repeats the same question as Monica. I decide giving an indirect answer is better than nothing. I th think the most important thing is for everyone to get along. And for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think about it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. That's what will make end up making the literature club a special clip place. I see. I really agree with you. No, oh, Yuri? Yuri? What's with your eye? Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. Yuri? With each change in members, the identity of the club as a whole will change, too. Oh, shit. How am I supposed to focus on this? I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while. So if you would like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. Alright. Well, maybe we can all talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Oh no. Yuri nods. Hey, Yuri. Eh? Um... I know things were a little awkward yesterday, but I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president. And also, a wonderful friend. Monica? This would be a lot more touching if, you know, all, all the... all the freakouts didn't happen. I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever. Okay? Me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go, Alan? Y Yuri? Yuri? We've never walked home before. Yuri? Um... Please don't take this the wrong way, but... I'm going to chat a little bit with Alan before we leave. Just to see what he thinks of his time here and all that. Oh, shit. Who's scarier in this situation? Monica or Yuri? I'm not sure. It's important to me, as president. Uh... Yuri looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. Okay. I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see the two of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Monica waves as Yuri exits the classroom. Oh no. Is Yuri going to stalk me home? Please don't let Yuri stalk me home. Phew! Things have been a bit hectic lately, haven't they? Alan, I just want to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. I don't feel like that's the only thing you're talking to me about, but... Oh no. The background is getting a little staticky. That's a bit concerning. I would really hate to see you unhappy. Monica? I feel kind of like I'm responsible for that. As president. And I really do care about you, you know? Monica? Monica? I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. Uh... I suppose I always suspected Monica of being on, of going crazy. With how mean Natsuki is and everything, 
and Yuri being a little bit, you know. Ha ha ha. Cute. Laugh. Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. Monica? You know what I mean? But it's weird. Because in all the time you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. Well, that's because I don't have, have like word choices to get closer to you. Haven't you seen that part of the game? I assume you know about that part of the game by now, Monica. Ah, uh, I mean... I guess it's technically only been a couple days. Sorry I didn't say- I didn't mean to say something weird. There's just some things I've been hoping to talk about with you. Things I know only you could understand. So that's why... Wait, not yet! No! Alright. Well... Okay, that's it for this episode. Will things work out between me and Yuri? Will I freak out and decide to go for Monica? Or even Natsuki? Because even Natsuki isn't looking too bad at this point. I really hope Natsuki doesn't, you know, pull a Siori. Insensitivity aside, we'll see you next time.